Hello, hello. How are you doing? I'm great. Samata, can you explain me something? Yes, uh, what, sure. What's the difference between sorry to keep you waiting and sorry for keeping you waiting? Is there any difference? No, they're the same. Yeah. Ah, okay, thanks. Good old English. <laughs> old they're, English? I said good English. Uh, it's just like great English. We're always using different things to mean the same thing. <laughs> uh -huh, okay. Yeah, they're the same. Sorry for keeping you. Sorry to keep you. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, who else is here? Hi, David. Hello, Samantha. Is this the David that was talking to me in the chat earlier? So I couldn't join? Or a different David? <laughs> I think it's a different. David, where are you from? Uh, sorry. One more. Where are you from? I'm from Spain. Oh, cool. Okay. I think we've met before. <laughs> um, and hi, Victor. Hello, Sam. Nice to see you and your Rubik's Cube. <laughs> nice to see you as well. <laughs> and hi, Marcel. Hello, Samantha. Good afternoon. Nice to see you. Nice to see you again. So today we're reading an article about sleep and dreams. So to warm up, I want you to tell me, do you often remember your dreams when you wake up? Do you often remember your dreams when you wake up? Um, Victor? No. No? <laughs> <laughs> no often. Not often? Very rarely I can remember mm -hmm. my dreams. What about you, Marcel? Well, uh, sometimes, you know, for example, if you wake up uh, suddenly because of any noise, something like that, I, I can't remember it just for a few seconds, okay? But it's not so common. It's it's like a special situation, you know, yeah. when you break up uh, suddenly your sleep. Like an alarm goes off or... Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you forget again later? Yeah, yeah, that, that, that is very curious, but <laughs> that is. <laughs> yeah, it's strange, right? Um, and Jocelyn, do you often remember your dreams when you wake up? Uh, no, I uh, never uh, remember uh, my dreams. No. Never? <laughs> never. Oh, that's interesting. Um, okay, and what about Ilya? Do you remember your dreams when you wake up? I remember, but ra rarely. <laughs> okay. Kind of similar to Marcel, like not ver or sorry, to Victor, not very often, right? Sometimes. Um, and David? Uh, yes, I I remember usually when I get uh, asleep uh, quickly when I go to to the bed. But if I I spend a long time in bed before sleep, uh, I I never remember. It's it's funny. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm this same way, kind of. Um, what about Magdi? Yes, uh, sometimes I, I remember and, and sometimes I, I cannot remember. Yeah, it just depends. Yeah. I'm the same way as Marcel. Like, if something wait, jolts me awake, like an alarm or, I don't know, I hear a noise and I kind of, like, wake up quickly, then I usually remember, but then I forget, like, ten minutes later. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and I remember some dreams, but not very often, so... It's strange how it works. It's very strange. Um, so the document is attached to the class. I'm just going to find the link for you. Uh, here it is. OK. I'll put it up on my screen so we can all look at it together. So it's from the same textbook that we've been using the past uh, few classes. Narelle's asking if we're here. Can't you see us? <laughs> um, so it's from Reading, Reading Explorer. And we start with this big picture <laughs> of a brain. 
Um, and it's showing you what the different parts of the brain kind of tell you. So what does the red part tell you, the part that's highlighted at the front? It, it is a big brain. <laughs> Um, someone, what does the red part of the brain tell you? Feelings. Feelings. <laughs> uh-huh, your feelings. What are the examples, Ilya? I I'm angry, I'm sad, I'm happy, and so forth. <laughs> mm -hmm, exactly, it says, this right here, this class is interesting, I'm I angry. Like I hate you, yeah. <laughs> I hate this class, this class is terrible. <laughs> um... <laughs> Yeah, so your emotions, right? How you feel. Um, David, what does the green part of the brain tell you underneath the red? Uh, perhaps the memory? Yeah, your memory, right? When did you see him? I saw him last week. So memories of the past. Um, what about the yellow part, Jocelyn? What does the yellow part tell us? Oh, I can't hear you. You're muted. Click on your microphone. There you go. Uh, the sen sensitive, the sensation. Yes, exactly. Your senses. Senses. The senses. senses. Um, your senses, or you can say the sensations, sensations that you feel. Your senses, can anyone tell me what your senses are? Your five senses? Odor. Yep, smell. Smell. Mm -hmm. Smell, hear. Hear. Hearing. 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 Ah. What do you do with your eyes? Ah, uh, I forgot, I forgot. <laughs> Sight. 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 Sighting. Sighting. Yeah. What do you do with your fingers? <laughs> touching, touching. Yeah. And what's the other one? Uh, now see. Oh, sorry. What do you do with your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> Speaking. Yes, you speak. What else do you do? Eating ice cream. <laughs> yes, you do. You eat ice cream. <laughs> and when you eat ice cream, what sense are you using? <laughs> Tasting. Your taste. taste. Good. Taste. There we go. <laughs> So smell with your ears, right? See with your eyes, hear with your... Oops, smell with your nose. <laughs> hear with your ears. Touch with your fingers. Taste with your tongue. So those are your senses. Um, and that's what this yellow part tells you, your senses. What about this uh, teal? It's like greenish blue. What does that part tell us, um, Marcel? Well, uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's <laughs> about your security, I don't know. Uh huh. A car is coming. Your security, maybe? Hi, Nurel. Yes, something yeah. like that. But I don't know exactly what. Hi, Sam. Have you heard of survival instincts before? Yeah, maybe it's about your your instinct. Yeah, it's about your instincts and how you know that you need to protect yourself, right? So you can sense danger, you can sense things that are going on around you. Um, yes. And that's what that part does. So Survival yeah. of the fittest. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Who knows about Mr. Darwin? <laughs> okay. Oh, you know what's very uh, interesting about Darwin? My little brother has a Darwin tattoo on his arm. <laughs> he has like a big monkey and then he has what looks like a race and it says survival of the fittest and a portrait it's like his whole arm <laughs> is a tattoo it's interesting um, this inf information is true or just a lesson what what information about the about the, the brain yeah the, it's true and this part is true okay yeah well they've made it they've um they've simplified it for us but but basically, it's true. Each part of your brain does something different, right? Yeah, okay. Um, I don't think our brains are like pink and blue, but I don't know. <laughs> 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 okay. You have some things here that you can work on later if you want, but we're going to go to the article. 
the meaning of dreams. Um, so, Norel, you just joined us, but tell us, do you usually remember your dreams? Oh, well, sometimes, if they are nightmare dreams. Okay. So, I wake up in the middle of the night, and I, I recall on the last parts of the dream, but usually, um, yeah, 50-50, it's depends. Uh-huh. That's an interesting, that's interesting, so... You usually remember your bad dreams, right? Your night nightmares. Yeah, because they are more uh, more strong sometimes. So they they stick on mm -hmm. my brain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, me, me too. Actually, that's the same for me. Um, I'm Mire. Welcome. So I am normal. <laughs> yeah, it's not just you. <laughs> Don't worry. Um, oh, unless yeah. you're dreaming about aliens, Norel, then we have a problem. <laughs> yeah, I think that's why. <laughs> I don't think we'll go back to aliens today. Um, hi, Mireille. Hello, Sam. How are you? I'm doing great, thank you. Um, do you usually remember your dreams? Mm, well, sometimes, uh, but not likely. Mm -hmm. Not usually. Not mm -hmm. usually. Okay, um, let's take a look at our article. This guy's, you know, snoozing away. Have you heard that word before? Snooze. Uh, snooze. It's uh, snore, like snore. snore. Yeah, sleeping, maybe snoring, like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so I'm just gonna make this a little bit bigger. There we go. Uh, we'll take turns reading, and then we'll talk about the text. So. Let's go to David. Could you read the first part for us? Please? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, did you have any good dream last night? Keep going. Uh, sorry, I can't see. You can't see it. Dreams. Dreams come from the part of the brain that contains memories, thoughts, and emotions. You dream during a state of sleep called REM. You can have up to six dreams a night, and each dream usually lasts from 10 or 40 minutes. Good. Does anyone know what REM or REM Sleep is? What is that? Does anyone know? Uh, oh, um, random mm. memory or something. Yeah. Not quite. It has something to do with your eyes, actually. Short memory. It's called... Rabbit, rabbit, rabbit eye. Yeah. It's the, the movement rabbit. of the eye. R rabbit eye, eye movement. movement. Eye movement, yeah. I can show you, but here I'll show you. <laughs> so it's when you're sleeping and you're so you're at the deepest sleep possible. So you're you're fully fully asleep and your eyes start like I can't do it, but they start going back and forth like this. So you can see your eyes moving. Um, this is called REM or REM sleep, rapid eye movement sleep. Um, when you're as deep asleep as possible. That's when it happens. Um, as you know, my screen share is broken, so now I have to refresh the page. <laughs> I'll be back in one minute. I'm very sorry. Oh, she's back. Oh, we're pissy. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, Google Hangouts. <laughs> Google. <laughs> um, great. So that's what REM sleep is. Um, thanks, Norel. It's very nice. <laughs> um, okay. So, what does the word contains mean? Contains. Mm, includes. Good. Contains is includes. Right. Um, so your brain contains memories or has memories. Uh, what are emotions? Uh, feelings. Feelings. 
feelings. It's how you feel. Feeling. Feeling. Yeah. And what about a stage? A stage of uh, sleep. A phase. A, uh, a period. Yeah, a, phase. a certain phase. level. Level. Good. Phase, period, step, a level, right? It's a stage. Um, okay, good. Let's keep going. Um, Imad, is your microphone working now? Imad? Yeah, yeah, it's working. Well. Okay, good. Yeah, can you hear me? <laughs> what was happening last class? Uh, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's working now, so that's okay. <laughs> um, do you want to read yeah. the next part for us, please? Yeah. Start. Did you have any good dreams? Uh, good with dreams? weather or not? Weather, weather. Yeah. Weather? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, just a minute, yeah. Whether or not people remember, re remember dreams depends on the individual. Uh, some people remember many of their dreams <laughs> while others don't. Uh, but what do you dream about? Uh, dreams mean uh, uh, um, Alan Sigel is a scientist who studies dreams. Sorry, studies dreams. Dreams help us uh, get in touch with our deeper feelings. Uh, he says they can tell us uh, a lot about ourselves and may even help us figure out problems. Great. Okay. Uh, here are a few I'm comments. I'm going to stop you there. Stop. Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah. Great. Yeah. Okay. There are two expressions in here that you might, you'll, some of you will know them. What does it mean to get in touch with something? Dreams help us get in touch to, to with. To be close, to, to talk to him, everyone. Yeah. Connect. Connect. You have yeah. his phone number. And so <laughs> OK, yeah, yeah. To connect. To connect. To something mm -hmm. with someone. Yes, exactly. So to be close to someone, to connect somehow, right? So it helps you. Connect to, with to your feelings. File Facebook account. <laughs> Not that kind of connect. <laughs> the <laughs> other connect. <laughs> um, what about to figure something out? Uh, to find to know, to know, to get, to get know. Well, to know. To realize, realize. Yes, but yeah, to realize, it's more yeah. to realize, to yes. discover, discover yeah. the answer, um, to learn, is to figure something out. So. They say um, uh, dreams may even help us figure out problems. So come to a conclusion, right? Realize the answer. Um, Do you see any vocabulary so far in this part? Any new words that I have not explained? No. No? No. no. Okay. Okay, good. Um, here are a few common dreams. <laughs> we'll see who has these dreams. I know I have them, some of them. <laughs> so, um, Ilya, can you read dream number one, please? Yeah, uh, dream number one. You meet someone when you are wearing your pajamas <laughs> or nothing <laughs> at all. <laughs> this dream may be the result of an embarrassing event in your life. Your brain is trying to help you deal deal with the event. <laughs> Get it. We can see the pictures. <laughs> there. Um, <laughs> does anyone ever have this dream? <laughs> no, I never, I never heard. I never heard. You're wearing no pants or you're naked, you're in your pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> no. No? No one has ever had this dream? Mm, no. <laughs> I have. <laughs> <laughs> but usually it's like I forgot my pants or I like yeah it's always my pants <laughs> oh I, yes yes I go it's to work something. or something yeah and someone looks at me and goes oh my god where are your pants and then I'm really <laughs> embarrassed <laughs> Norelle it happens to you sometimes yeah many times I went to school without shoes and everyone <laughs> asking me Oh, sometimes I go like half half naked. So yeah, I, I forget so shoes too. Yeah, weird. Shoes. Uh huh. Yeah, it's just weird. <laughs> Very <laughs> strange. But you worry about everything, so <laughs> you yeah. have dreams like that. Uh huh. So it's supposed to. Sh 
What does that mean? Embarrassing. What does it mean? Embarrassing? Yeah. Uh, to be embarrassed um, is uh, to feel ashamed. When you stay in front uh, of anyone without your pants, <laughs> this is <yes>. embarrassing. <laughs> um, yeah, to feel ashamed. Um, maybe not as bad as ashamed. Ashamed is pretty negative. Um, to be, you can be embarrassed, and maybe it's not that. When bad. you blast, when you yeah, blast. your your face t turns red. <laughs> yeah. Right. You feel shy, right? Um, okay. What does it mean to deal with something? To deal with the event? To interact with that. To handle, handle, handle it. Handle. Yeah. yeah handle to it, handle, yeah. to face Marcel. Good. To handle something. To face a problem. Um, mm -hmm. Great. Okay. Uh, Jocelyn, can you read dream number two, please? Yes. Your flame. There is a good period in your life. You may feel that other people look up to you as a leader. I love this one. <laughs> You're flying. Um, flying. Yeah. Does this happen to anyone? Do you ever dream that you're flying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, never? No, never. <laughs> okay, I have to show you. I'll, I know I'll, I'll have to refresh the Hangout after, but... Okay, so sometimes I dream that I'm flying, but I have to, like, do this in the air. Swimming? Yeah, swimming. I'm, like, swimming, but in, in the in air. The sky. You're swimming in the sky, right? It's, like, it's the strangest thing. Um, <laughs> I've never dreamed that I'm just, you know, like, flying like a bird. Every time I have to... I swim. Um, your, has your, anyone... dreams, your dreams are, are, are weird. <laughs> <laughs> Weird. <laughs> and, and when you wake up, you you you're lying in your floor, right? <laughs> Norel said she does too. Yeah, yeah. Not just me. <laughs> yeah. And this before I before I went uh, some before I went to visit Imperial State Building in New York. Uh, the night before, I dreamed that I'm on the top. And there is no uh, stairs to come down, so I had to fly, so I can get. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. did you do this? <laughs> yes. <laughs> actually, actually, I wake on the mic the the, the <laughs> middle of the night <laughs> because it was very very strange. There's another dream that's very common. They don't talk about it, but falling. Yeah. Does anyone have this where you feel like you were falling and then all of a sudden you're like, <gasps> and you wake up? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Does it's happened many ever times. Actually, fall. <laughs> I, actually, it's um, uh, it's been proved scientifically that th th what just happened to you is a catastrophe because you were about to die. I, our, your organs are about to shut down, and then it's like this pulse. Your heart uh, um, pushes these pulses in order to be alive again. Really? Yeah, I read that wow. in a scientific article. Yeah. I'm gonna look for that article. That's very interesting for me. I'm yeah. yeah. So mm. oh, that's interesting. So it's actually like a physical response to something that's happening inside of you. Yeah, oh. exactly. Marcel says, "Yeah." Does everyone have this falling dream? Yeah, more or less, I don't know, twice a week, something like that. Yeah, it's pretty mm -hmm. normal. Yeah, it's very common, this one. Um, okay, keep talking about dreams. I'll be back in 30 <laughs> seconds. Sorry. <laughs> Ah. Sorry. <laughs> okay. All right, let's look at dream number three. Um, Magdi, tell us about yeah. dream number three. Okay. You didn't study for, for a test. This means you are under pressure. You're worried about a major event in the future. If you're not prepared for the event, mm -hmm. your dream could, could be telling you it's time to get to work. Good. Has anyone had this dream? 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh my goodness. This is the most common one, I think, for yeah. students. <laughs> yeah, especially when you have something in your mind, yeah. I don't think I've ever had this one. Oh. That's interesting. I've had the ones that no one else has. <laughs> Maybe I am weird. <laughs> no, no, it means that, that you are special, Seth. <laughs> yeah. I was always very confident in school. That's probably why. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, what, okay, what does under pressure mean? Under pressure. You are stressed. Under a lot of stress. Yeah, stress. Um, ner nervous even, right? Nervous about how much work you have. You're under pressure. Um, a major event? What's a synonym for major? Uh, essential. Uh, main, main. Main or essential. Essential. Important. Important, big, right? Uh, is major. Minor is the opposite, right? Small. Yeah. Unimportant. Um, well, in, the, in this case, it major means uh, uh, your test, your your topic, or what you study in school, in university. Uh, it it does mean that, but not in this sentence. It says you're worried about a major event in the future. Okay. So a a large important event that's coming up in the future. Not about your major at school. That's something different. Okay. Um, prepared. Yeah. Sorry, did someone have a question? No. No. Oh, okay. Um, what is prepared? Just a synonym. Get, get, get ready. Get yeah, ready. ready. Ready to go, right? Um, ready, steady, go. Ready, steady, go. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you can see we have some notes here at the bottom about that REM, rapid eye movement. So it's when your eyes are doing what I showed you and you're dreaming. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so, it's, po it's possible to uh, study other synonyms for ready. Prepared? Yeah, in this, in this case, prepared would mean you've studied, right? In this case. Um, yeah, you've studied. Well, I, I say about synonym of ready. For example, are you ready? Are you studying? You know? You can't say, are you studied? This is incorrect. You have to say, have you studied? And use it as a verb. Okay, okay. It doesn't work as um, an adjective. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, let's see how, how well we understood what we've read, okay? Um, so, Marcel, can you read the first question for us? <clears throat> yeah. Uh, what is the main idea of reading? A. Everyone has dreams, but not everyone remembers them. B. Dreams come from only one part of our brain. C. Most people don't know what their dreams mean. And D. Dreams can help us to understand ourselves and our feelings. Great. So what is the main idea? What is a summary of, of the article? Which one? The, la the last one. The last one? OK. What does everyone think? Mm -hmm. no, it's not solo. Which one? I think it's A. Okay. Yeah. What does everyone else think? A or D? D. I think D. Tell me, tell me. <laughs> what do you think? How about C? <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> see, it's People probably. don't know what their dreams mean. Yeah. I think C is more of like an interpretation, our interpretation. Yeah. But it, that's not what the article is about. I would say D. Dreams can D. help us to understand ourselves and our feelings. I say that because <laughs> they spend a lot of time telling us what things mean. Yeah. Up here, um, what do your dreams mean? Um, and it's explaining, you know, what they mean and why they're useful. Yeah. So, 
um, deep, dreams can help us to understand ourselves and our feelings. So I'm just going to write one D in the chat. Okay, good. Um, Mireille, what about number two? Could you read it for us, please? Yeah. Um, which of the following will you probably not have? A dream that lasts 15 minutes, a dream that lasts 25 minutes, a dream that lasts 40 minutes, a dream that lasts si uh, 16 minutes. We might have to look at the text to remember. Yeah. So 15, 25, 40, or 60. Where does it tell us the length of our dreams? Take a look. 10 to 40. Yes, from, right up here. 10 to, 10 yeah. to 40 minutes. 10 to 40. So, maybe you may not have 60. Good, exactly. So 2 is D, 60, because um, they tell us 10 to 40 minutes, right? Um, what about 3, uh, Nurel? 3 in line A, it's another way to say get in touch with, will be talk to, remember, and then forget, stay away from, connect with, and understand. Connect with, and understand. So D. Does everyone agree? Three is D? I don't agree. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I'm feeling yes. very bipolar today, right? Girl? Yes. 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 <laughs> okay. Um, yes, good. One of those dreams. Yeah. <laughs> good. Um, number three is D. Connect with and understand. We talked about that earlier, right? Yeah. Um, okay. What about number four, Victor? According to the Passage. 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 Which of the following is true about dreams? Mm -hmm. A. If you dream you were wearing <laughs> no clothes, something embarrassing probably happened to you. I think it's true. Okay. Next. Um, can you read the rest of the options for us? Yes. If you dream you are flying, this is probably a difficult time in your life. C. If you dream you didn't study for a test, you are probably not getting enough sleep at night. And D. If you dream you didn't study for a test, then you have nothing to worry <laughs> about. Okay. What does everyone think? So Victor said A, right? What do you guys think? Which one? Yes, A, too. A? Yes. I hear some people pondering. Uh, it's A. <laughs> yeah, it's A. Sorry, it's A. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. You're allowed to ponder. <laughs> A, okay. Marcel says the last one is true as well. What do they tell us about studying? Let's take a look. Um, if you dream you didn't study for a test, you're under pressure, you're worried, um, and maybe you're unprepared. So your dream is telling you to get to work, time to work. Um, I don't think these answers really match, right, about the studying. So yes, it's A. So for A. Um, if you dream you're wearing no clothes, it probably means something embarrassing happened, <laughs> like we talked about. I wonder, it, like, it's funny because when I have this dream, like, <laughs> I can't think of anything embarrassing really. That I don't get embarrassed very easily. <laughs> I don't know about <laughs> you guys, but um, okay. Let's go to number five, uh, David. Yes. Uh... In line 17, another way to say look up to you would be A, are careful when they're with you, B, think good things about you, C, like to talk to you, D, dream about you. Good. Uh, I think B. 
B think good things about you? Yes. Do you agree? What does look up to you? We didn't talk about this. Let me find it. Line 17. Look up means respect you. Yeah. You may yeah, feel thanks. that other people look up to you as a leader. They mm -hmm. follow you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, follow you, respect you, like you, right? They like you yeah. and they, they trust you. So mm -hmm. do we agree with David? Is it B, think good things about you? Yeah. 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 Good. Okay. Um, great. So... Classification. Five people are describing an experience. Which dream from the passage will each person probably have? So, first one. Uh, Imad, can you read A for us? Uh, yeah, sure. I have to finish this paper tonight. Uh, if I don't have, uh, if I don't have it on, you know, on time. I get a board, uh, sorry, a bad grade. Wait, oh, sorry. Um, I don't know what's the problem with my screen. My screen yeah. It might yeah. be mine. I don't know. Google Hangouts can be a little annoying. No, no it's my screen. <laughs> okay. It's my problem. So, which dream? Which dream will this. Which dream? We have those three options, right? Um, anyone can. Can ask. I see the option? Yeah. Can yeah. I see the option? Yeah. So we have, you're naked, <laughs> you're <laughs> flying, or you didn't study for a test. <laughs> yeah, the third one. Didn't good. Yeah. <laughs> the third one. Good. Okay. Um, Jocelyn, can you read B, please? I felt terrible. I fell on the stairs, and everyone laughed at me. Uh, uh, dream one. Yeah. <laughs> Naked. <laughs> um, very good. And Marcel, see? Yeah. My life is great. Just a moment. My life is great. I don't have any problems. And I'm really happy. Well, I think is dream number two, maybe? Flying? Yeah. Does everyone agree? Yeah. 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 No. Yeah. no. Do you think if you're unhappy, you'll dream that you're naked? <laughs> maybe, maybe if you're a nudist. <laughs> nudist is someone who is always naked. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, Mireille, can you read D for us? <laughs> you like this word. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think it's funny. <laughs> yes, very is funny. And alien too. Both oh, of them. <laughs> we don't need any alien nudists. But it's getting very strange at that point. Yes. <laughs> okay, uh, Mireille, can you read D, please? Yeah. Everyone else was wearing the right clothes. I just came in jeans and a t-shirt. Uh, yeah, I was naked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, the naked thing. Naked again. <laughs> Nudies. Nudies. <laughs> okay. Uh, Norel, can you read the last one? <laughs> yeah, the concert is in two days, and I haven't had much time to practice my violin. Uh, my violin, it will be uh, the last one. You know, uh, you study pressure? stuff, I think. Yeah, something about a test, you're under pressure. Um, okay, very good. <laughs> Any questions about the dreams? Any of this? Okay. Um, the next page, the next two pages, actually, have more practice for you. Um, but we won't do it now. So you have this document and you're free to do it you know, on your own time. If you need the answers, you can message me. Here's my Facebook. And I will help you and correct your homework. <laughs> uh, but you've got this, and then there's more on the next page. 
extra practice. Um, but for the last 10 minutes, I want to just talk. So, <laughs> um, can anyone tell me about a funny or interesting dream that they've had? I'm sure you can remember one dream. I'll I can remember I can... the first. Yeah. Sorry, who? I'll go ahead. Yeah, me. Yeah. Who is me? Who is me? Yeah. Imad. 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 <laughs> okay. Imad, tell us. Uh, uh, that was the first time that the standardized test was uh, like uh, ninth grade. Uh, this is the third grade in the mid uh, middle school, but we name it. Uh, we call it the ninth grade. Uh, I wasn't really. Uh, Nervous, but there was kind of anxiety because I'm well prepared at the same time. It's the first time for me to take uh, a standardized test. Uh, there was a lot of horror story about people uh, like uh, having coma, or how, how can I call it, uh, during the test, or, uh, because it's difficult and uh, crucial. Uh, so I went, I was sleeping, and uh, I had a very nice dream that I met a beautiful girl before uh, the test and that the test was very funny uh, and I, I can't remember that awkward moment that uh, 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 during the, that feeling uh, I feel like uh, I, I remember that I, I, I'm, I'm like falling down from my bed uh, this is the moment I woke up and I discovered that I was dreaming oh no <laughs> uh, yeah. I hate when that happens. You're in the middle of a good dream. Are you ever yeah. in the middle of a good dream and then you wake up and then you try to sleep again? <laughs> like, <laughs> no, I have to yeah, finish the dream. <laughs> no, never. Yeah, no, I was kidding. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, interesting. Any other dream stories for us? Who else has yeah. a story? Oh, uh, actually, in my country, there is this uh, funny uh, dream. Uh, well, most of the time it, it, it becomes true. Um, well, okay, I'll just tell you guys. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it, it's uh, particularly uh, women uh, in particular, when they, uh, girls, okay, or women, when they dream that they are uh, uh, buying a, a pair of shoe, all right? Shoes. It means that, the, that they are getting married. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Never heard that one before. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, most of the time it becomes true. Huh, okay. Interesting. Okay, so if you're buying shoes, you're getting married. Does that mean if you're buying shoes, then, that, then you're going to get married soon? Or do you have to be engaged? <laughs> oh, uh, I think the the shoe means uh, or refers to a man. So ah, okay, <laughs> okay, interesting. All right, cool. Any other dreams? Who else has a dream? Come on. Okay, I'll pick on you. Mm. Victor, tell me a dream that you've had. <laughs> <laughs> I have a strange example. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, once I was tasting uh, a new kind of beer. <laughs> and that sounds uh, like a good dream. <laughs> <laughs> and after that, after that, I see a dream, like I, in the body of a bull, or ox, how to say. What? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm in Spain. I'm on the corrida. <laughs> And the people around me, they <laughs> applaud me, <laughs> and I have competition with another bull. <laughs> you actually are the bull? Bull, yes, the bull. Okay. The <laughs> That's so it, weird. <laughs> it, was, it was nightmare. Uh, I yeah, I think so. <laughs> How did it I end? Wake... Did you win? Uh, I wake up. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's <God. laughs> Yeah. What about um, Jocelyn? Tell me about a dream. No, uh, because I don't remember uh, my dreams. Oh, you told me you don't remember them. Never, so. never. Never. It's interesting. 
<laughs> Everyone's different. Some people always remember their dreams. So maybe it's a good thing. You can't remember nightmares either. <laughs> so that's good. Um, I, I prefer uh, no dreams because uh, uh, there is uh, bad dreams. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we call bad dreams, you can call them nightmares. Mm. Nightmares. Mm -hmm. Nightmares, yes. Um, okay, what about um, Norel? Tell me a dream. Well, uh, there are too many. Too <laughs> many. So one of them is uh, one time I passed away and I went to a place I didn't like. There were there like like smaller rooms and there is someone there telling you, okay, now you passed away, you have to choose the room and go there and you're going to stay forever. Maybe it's very sad. So I wake up on the middle of the night just saying, oh, I'm alive, I'm alive, thank God. <laughs> I don't want to die. <laughs> oh my God, that sounds kind of strange too. No, that was, yes, I don't know, I don't know. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, especially it starts with me doing those kind of things since I started learning English. Uh, because, <laughs> yeah, because I'm learning English for the purpose of, uh, for job purpose. So I need to learn it. I need to master it. I need to pass the exam. So what happened is I'm not doing it for uh, for passion because I like to learn many languages. I'm honest. So I think I have a, this pressure that makes me uh, this this make me from time to time to have this nightmare. Yeah. Yeah, that it, it is a lot of pressure. It's a lot of pressure. Yes. I know. Um, I have the same experience with French. I mean, I do like learning languages, but when you have to learn it for some reason, it's not the same. <laughs> if you're not just doing it for fun, it can be really exactly, stressful. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like to. I like to learn languages, but I, I don't like to be forced. To yeah, you know that it's that you have to do it, right? So it's yeah. not. Yeah. So it's, exactly, it's, but I, I don't understand. Like to be forced. Yeah. Maybe mm -hmm. that's why I do those three kind of things. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hmm. Does anyone else have a dream before I pick someone? Well, I, I don't remember any a specific dream, okay? But uh, I can remember the sensation, okay? Uh, when, when I was a student at the university, in the period of exams, I studied uh, very hard every day. Okay, but mm -hmm. when when I went in the bed, okay, I I dream, I I was studying, you know, it, it was horrible because <laughs> you know, every day twenty I don't know more or less twenty hours study every day at the morning at the night in every moment. It uh -huh. was something crazy because when you uh, got up at, at, the, at the morning, you know, wake up at the morning, uh, you think you, you you don't rest enough, you know, because you are studying all the night. It was horrible. This yeah. Is the session I remember, you know. I used to dream. I worked at a coffee shop. That not a dream. I did. I worked at a coffee shop <laughs> for a very like a long time, a lot of years, while I was in school. And I would work um, in the summer for like 40, 50 hours a week. And then I would go to bed and dream about the coffee shop. <laughs> I would wake yeah. up like, ah! Oh! <laughs> like, yeah. I'm in bed. I want to dream about something fun. I don't want to dream about work. <laughs> it drives me crazy. Yeah, because it's like you work, you know? It's, it's yeah. a dream, okay, but you feel like you work. Yeah, it's horrible. Guys, sometimes yeah. I dream that I'm teaching in class. <laughs> I do. I wake up. I'm like, what? What's going on? I, <laughs> I thought I was in class. And you were there. And you were there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, um, maybe maybe it's, it's because you work a lot. I don't know why. 
I do. I don't teach as much anymore, but I'm always working. <laughs> yeah. Um, what about maybe one more, Ilya? Tell us about a dream, Ilya. Well, you know, I'm just thinking I have to change my life because <laughs> I usually wake up and I'm like, oh my god, forget it, forget it, forget it. <laughs> yeah. I don't want yeah. to remember. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Uh, any questions? Any final thoughts before we leave? No, okay. thank you. I'll give you my. Here's my Verbling page and Facebook. So thanks for coming. Um, I don't usually teach on the weekend, but I am teaching tomorrow for a couple of hours. And there are, I think, two beginner classes. So maybe I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Otherwise, have a nice weekend. OK? Thank you. Right. Yes. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. 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 Is she a French? Oh, hi, Marie. <laughs> hi. Were you talking about me? No, no. that's Jocelyn.